we need to find the total internal energy of a mixture of two moles of oxygen and four moles of argon this is what we need to find out if you recall internal energy is nothing but the degrees of freedom multiplied with nrt by 2 for any number of moles the total internal energy of the mixture is going to be the internal energy of oxygen and the internal energy of argon the internal energy of oxygen which is a diatomic gas is going to be equal to the degrees of freedom are 5 multiplied with the number of moles of oxygen are 2 rt by 2 which is equal to 5 rt argon is a monoatomic gas so its internal energy is going to be the number of degrees of freedom which are 3 number of moles 4 rt by 2 this is nothing but 6 rt therefore the total internal energy of this system is going to be 11 rt let's solve another question let us give you this question in form of steps step 1 say we have a mole of gas one mole of gas it is at a pressure of P0, volume V0 and temperature T0 initially. It is first expanded isothermally to twice its initial volume. In the second step, it is compressed isobarically to V0 by 2. And then it is brought back to its original state. by a process in which P is proportional to V. So this is our question and we need to draw the PT diagram. Let us try to solve this. Say this is our PT coordinate system. Initially, say it was at pressure P0 and temperature T0. So the first point of the entire chain of processes lies, say here. At this P0, V0 and T0 are the, this is the state of the gas. The first step says that it is expanded isothermally to twice its initial volume. So it is definitely going to be a vertical line for a process to be isothermal and for an isothermal process PV is constant. So for the first part 
PV is a constant. And it is said that it is expanded isothermally. If expansion is taking place, volume is going to increase. For PV to be constant, the pressure needs to decrease. So the pressure will be decreasing. If the volume is getting twice its initial volume, then the pressure has to reduce to half. So this is going to drop till the pressure reaches P0 by 2. So this is the first step. The second step says it is compressed isobarically to V0 by 2. So the second step says V by T is a constant. In this diagram, it is obviously going to be a horizontal line because it's an isobaric process. Because volume now is going to be at this point, the state of the gas is this. Because from 2V0, we have to bring it to V0 by 2, we are actually decreasing the volume by 4 times. So, if V by T is a constant, then the temperature also needs to decrease by 4 times. So it is going to be a horizontal line. And the state here will be P0 by 2, V0 by 2 and T0 by 4. So this point is T0 by 4. Now it is said that it is brought back to its original state by a process in which P is proportional to V. Let us write the equation of state here. If P is proportional to V, we can say that P is some constant times V, that is some constant into V square is equal to nRT, which means V square is proportional to T. So if we plot a graph between T and V, it is going to be a parabola. So the process is going to be a parabolic process from this point to this point. So this is process 3. This is in general how this is going to look like the curve or the cycle which has been asked to you in form of a PT diagram. Note that when we are drawing this parabola to judge whether this parabola will be its concave activity will be this side or this side to judge that you just need to consider whether this constant is positive or not and thus differentiate this t with respect to v twice if what you're getting is positive then the concavity will be this side if what you're getting is negative the concavity concavity is going to be this side now because of our choice of constants we are getting a positive expression we have chosen this kind of a parabola.